What's up everyone, this is going to be another Minecraft tutorial, it's going to be really easy and it's going to be about Optifine. On my videos I've been sharing the resource pack, I believe it's called Conquest, awesome ass pack, um, and to get that HD type of texture you need Optifine, it's like a little mod, and I'm going to show you how to get it, how to make it work on your computer. Um, this works for Minecraft 1.6.x, meaning any 1.6 point version of Minecraft. It probably will work even further along the line, but just in case, I'm just saying let's just keep it to the 1.6 series. So here we go. It's gonna be a really easy step-by-step -step process, and we're gonna begin with downloading Optifine. The link is gonna be in the description, and what you're gonna do is uh, click on download. Uh, you can do it standard or ultra. I do ultra. So make sure you click on the one that says 2013, the, I believe that's October 16th, 2013, which was just recently updated, three days, I believe, from now. So download that, it's going to take you to AdFly, skip the ad, uh, download it, and have it ready, like, in the folder on your desktop. Save it wherever you like. So we're going to close that for now. And when you download it, we're going to put everything down, go to Start, and like always, percent app data percent it gets your roaming folder so you can go to the dot minecraft click on dot minecraft and this is where the fun starts you click you click on uh, versions and in this folder you're going to see the current version you have now you could have more versions like 1.6.2 1.6.4 and so on so all you have to do pick whichever version you're playing for for example the current version is 1.6.4 and that's the one I'm playing on so you're going to click on that and you're going to click on uh, copy. Now when this 1.6.4 folder is copied, you're going to right click and click on paste. So now you have this copy folder. Now what we're going to do with this folder first is we're going to rename it. Uh, rename it to something easy, so I'm just going to say Optifine. Okay, That's the Optifine folder. Okay, so we've just renamed the folder. Now you're gonna click it, and you're gonna have a jar and a JSON file. In here, it's this is where the actual magic happens. Um, what you're gonna have to do is first open up the JSON file. If for some reason when you click it and it won't open, uh, just right click it and open with, and click on Notepad, Notepad. So let's click this, let's open this, and this is what we see. If you see right here, it says 1.6.4. That's where the name of the folder has to be. Alright, so we're going to type in Optifine. So make sure this is called exactly the same as the folder. Okay, just make sure it's exactly the same on the inside. So that's capital O P T fine. That's exactly what the name of the folder is. So you gotta go file, save, and then close it. Now after that, we have to rename both of these files. So right click to rename. And like I said before, it has to be exactly the same name as the folder. Alright, so like I, I called it Optifine, so we're gonna have to call all of these Optifine. Op Fine. Make sure you spell it exactly the same. This is crucial for this to work. Now, since you downloaded Optifine, and this is right here is a WinRAR file, so open it up with WinRAR. It's got oh, there it is. I was getting worried it's not gonna pop up. We don't need that. Close that. And what we're gonna have to do now is find where our Optifine download is. I believe I have it in my downloads. If it loads today. Gonna open this up. Close the downloads. I'm not gonna buy your shit. Gotta I believe it's control A to select everything and then drag it in here. Now let it do its thing. It's gonna extract into that folder. Uh it's gonna say uh let's see here. Blah blah blah. Okay. It's updating. All right. So now you just put you just pasted um, everything into this f file, and before we close this, what we want to do 
is delete the meta-inf. So just click it and it'll delete file, delete it. Alright, awesome, awesome, awesome. So if you did it right, Optifine should be in this folder now. Hopefully that should be done now. Bye bye. It looks like I did it in the wrong folder. Just make sure you did it in the folder you created. Meta needs to be uh shouldn't be there. Okay, so it looks like Optifine isn't in here. Hmm. Let me just make sure everything was copied over. Bum, ba, bum. I believe it worked, but just to make sure. Control A. Put it in here. Extracting again. Just making sure. Don't want to start this whole video over again, you know. Click OK. It's updating. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Now you see I have Optifine in this folder. Make sure Optifine is in this folder for it to work. Um, so yeah, make sure there's no meta and Optifine folder is in here. Without the Optifine, then why the hell did you download in the first place? So now we can close this. Close this. Open this back up. So yeah, everything named Optifine. The same name as your folder. Now, we can close that and open up Minecraft. Now, this is another thing that we have to do, the last step of this process. We're going to have to click on New Profile. Let's call it Optifine, okay? Just for us to know. Now, when you do that, you got to go to this. You see right here, it says Use Version. And what we're going to do is click on the down arrow. And right here, it says Release Optifine. You click that. Make sure it's release Optifine. It's going to be release followed by the name of the folder that you created. And what we're going to do is save profile. Okay, we're going to do that and then we're going to click play. See if it actually worked. Now, this is uh, my resource pack. Really, really, really good. So, hopefully, you guys should check it out create new world let's just see if the texture pack or resource pack now works as you can see it's working the nice textures HD uh, is still 8 bit so you're not gonna see a big big difference but as you can see Optifine is officially working and if you guys did everything I said in the video it should be working for you too like I said just a little recap remember name every file the same name as the folder also in the JSON file make sure you change the 1.6.x whatever version you have to die shoot to the, whatever the name of your that folder is after that create the new profile name it whatever you want make sure you're using the folder that you just created for use version and you are set Another quick and easy tutorial. If you have any question, please comment below. And let's end this video on killing a sheep. Or at least one sheep or two. Yeah, there we go. We got some wool. Alright guys, signing out.